Okay guys, I'm going to be starting out with my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette and I'm going to be setting my eye with the color Heaven. And I'm using a Morphe M441 brush. Next, I'm going to be going in with Honey Butter and I'm just going to be applying that in my crease and a little bit above. And I'm going to be using a Morphe M433. And I'm also going to be going in with Chocolate Cookie. And I'm just going to be applying that in my crease as well. This look is going to be really natural and light, but I still want dimension to be brought out in my eyelid. So to add a little bit of color, I'm going to be using Strapless from that same palette. And this palette is really great, you guys. It gives you day colors, classic, and fashions. So you can use this palette for a daytime or a nighttime look. But for my preference for this look, I'm going to be using it for daytime. And so next I want to apply a little bit of shimmer. So I'm going to be going into the CoverGirl True Naked Nudes palette. And I'm going to be applying the color Champagne. And I'm just going to focus that in the middle point or the middle part of my eyelid just to add a pop of color. And next I'm just going to be blending that out and I'm taking a Morphe Y18. And I'm just going to be blending everything out with a little bit more of chocolate cookie. And next, to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to be going in with Heaven. And this is going to give me like a natural highlight. I feel like with every makeup look, I have to highlight my brow bone. But I didn't want to use any shimmer for the daytime look. So next, I'm going to be going in with my L'Oreal Telescopic in the color Black. And at first I was going to put on lashes, but then I thought, you know what, I haven't done a makeup look yet without any lashes. And I feel like during the day when I'm just chilling or hanging out, I typically do not apply on lashes. So I'm just going to be using my L'Oreal Telescopic and keep it really simple. I feel like I just said lashes like 35 times. And next I'm going to be applying the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF3. And I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Lipstick in 235, Warm Me Up. And this completes the daytime makeup look. I just wanted to keep it really simple and fresh, but also with like a little bit of shimmer on the eye just to keep it kind of fun as well. And for the nighttime look, I'm going to be going in with this NYX pigment eyeshadow that I just got in my Ipsy bag for November. And it's in the color Bedroom Eyes. I'm going to be spraying some Gerard Slay all day to my brush just to make it a little more pigmented. And this is just a flat tapered concealer brush that came in my Ipsy Glam bag as well. This is my first time using it and I can't say I'm really impressed. And I love the way this gold eyeshadow applies. And I'm just going to be applying that over all of the eyeshadow that I applied on my lid before. And next I'm going to be taking the darkest chocolate shade from the CoverGirl True Naked Nudes palette. This is in the color Sable, I believe. No, not Sable. This is in the Goldens palette. And it's in the color Sierra. I'm just going to be smoking out my crease with this shade. And next I'm going to be going in with another shade from the Goldens palette. And this is in the color Chiffon. I'm just going to be highlighting my brow bone with this color. This look is super easy to transition from day to night. All I'm doing is smoking out my eye and just applying more dimension. Okay, next I'm going to be taking the color Sun Kissed and I'm going to be highlighting my inner tear duct. I'm 
going to be going in with the Kiss eyelashes, I believe these are, and just applying these really quickly. No nighttime look is complete without falsies, so I must apply these. These are some of my favorites. And once I get those on, I'm going to be doing my favorite part of doing my makeup, deepening my crease even more. I just want to smoke it out until it looks really smoky <laughs> and ready for night next I'm going to be taking one of my new morphe brushes as well and this is my morphe y21 I'm just going to be applying that same Sierra color on my bottom eye line I just want to smoke out my eye line just a little bit and I'm going to be going back in with Actually, I'm going to be going back in with the NYX pigment, and I just want to apply that on the inner corner of my eye just to open it up some. I'm just going to be blending those two colors out together. And next, I'm just going to be lining my bottom eye line again with the NYX eyeliner in the color black. I'm just applying a little bit more telescopic now I'm going to be removing that nude shade and I'm leaving a little bit of my lip liner there and I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the color black cherry and that's going to complete this makeup look if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and if you think you subscribed before go ahead and subscribe because I heard that YouTube was doing some crazy shit like unsubscribing people and things like that so just make sure you're subscribed to my channel i love you guys until my next upload i'll see you later